Welcome to the Sauce and Gravy channel. This is Johnny Mac, the gravy guy. It's the holiday season, so I'm gonna show you how to make a festive, mouth-watering chestnut and mushroom lasagna sauce. Buckle up, let's go. Start off with some prep work. You'll wanna work with the chestnuts first. So you may be wondering, how do you choose the best chestnuts? You want them to be firm to the touch, not rattle whenever you shake, be dark, shiny, and have no cracks. If you'd like to go the easy route and buy store-bought, ready-to-go chestnuts, I won't tell anybody. You can just skip the chestnut roasting prep work. Place the chestnut flat side down, grab your kitchen shears, and make a lengthwise cut down the chestnut. Try your best just to pierce through the skin and not go too deep into the meaty flesh of the chestnut. You can either stop right there, or you can make another cut across the chestnut for a cross-like pattern. This is how it should look. Whenever you squeeze it, you should be able to see that meaty flesh on the inside of the chestnut. For this recipe, I'm prepping 13 chestnuts. And the thing is, you probably won't use all of them. Inevitably, there'll be one or two chestnuts that are just not too good and you'll throw away. For this batch, I used 12 of the 13 for this recipe. Your next step is to throw the chestnuts into a mixing bowl with water and let them sit for at least two hours. So the two hours is up, and I usually like to throw my chestnuts into the water in the morning, and then by the time I'm ready to start the sauce in the afternoon, they're ready to go. Remove some of the excess water with a tea towel and place the chestnuts onto a parchment lined baking tray. Place the chestnuts into a preheated oven at 425 degrees Fahrenheit or 218 Celsius for 20 to 25 minutes. While the chestnuts roast, you can finish off your prep work. Chop an eight ounce box or 227 grams of Baby Bella mushrooms or the mushrooms of your choice. Grab one large shallot bulb. For this one, it had two cloves, give it a chop. To add a touch of color to your festive holiday lasagna, red bell pepper, chop it up nice and chunky. Head out to the garden, a handful of parsley will do, chop it nice and fine. Last but not least, before you take those chestnuts out of the oven, some healthiness, spinach, 2.5 ounces or 120 grams. Give it a once over with your blade. It's been 25 minutes and your nuts, they've been roasted. Time to take them out of the oven. Let's check them out. Let's see what they look like. The nuts, they look great. The shells, they've split open. Next step, grab a bowl and a tea towel. Place the tea towel on top of the bowl. What you're gonna do is place all of the chestnuts into the tea towel. They're just a bit too hot to work with right now. So you're gonna let them cool off and put them into the tea towel, cover them up to let them stay moist and a little warm because it's a whole lot easier to remove the shells whenever they're warm. The nuts, they've cooled down slightly, so now I'm gonna show you how to remove the shells from the chestnut. So you see the yellow? That's the meat of the chestnut. That's what you want in the end. So you're gonna remove the thick, hard outer shell. It's really not that hard to remove the outer shell. And then you end up with this leathery skin on top of the chestnut. You wanna remove that, it's tough. You don't want that in your lasagna sauce. And this is what you should have in the end. A big chestnut, nice and chunky. But if it falls apart, don't worry, you're gonna chop them up anyways. So a lot of times whenever you're pulling them apart, they break in half, it's not really a big deal. Plus sometimes you run across a few chestnuts that just don't look right on the inside, you can toss them. But the rest, chop them up about like this. It's the moment that you've all been waiting for. It's time for me to show you how to make a creamy chestnut and mushroom sauce for lasagna. Round up a large saucepan, or you can use a Dutch oven like I'm using here, put it over high heat, heat up that oil until it's piping hot, and then drop in your eight ounces of chopped mushrooms. Frequently stir the mushrooms, cook till they're lightly brown. Your burner, it should still be over high heat. Check your oil level, if you need to add some, add some, and you can drop in that one chopped red bell pepper. Snag that flat bottom spatula, keep stirring, cook over a high heat for a few minutes until the mushrooms and the red bell peppers are tender, and then you can add your shallots. Cook for a few more minutes and you'll know you're done whenever the shallots are tender and the mushrooms and red bell peppers have a touch of golden brown. Make a well in the center of the pan, drop in half of a pound or 250 grams of ground pork. Use a flat bottom spatula to break up the pork. Grab half of a pound of ground beef, drop it in. That's about 250 grams and this is a 93% lean ground beef and what that means is this will not be a greasy lasagna sauce. When the beef and the pork have pretty much been cooked through, add three cloves of minced garlic. At this point in the sauce making process, you can turn the heat of the burner down to medium to medium high. You don't want to burn anything. After the garlic's been added to the dish, stir, mix well, and cook for about 30 seconds until you smell a warm garlic smell coming from the pan. 
Drop in two pinches of shrubbery, the fresh parsley, you can save the rest for garnishing at the end. At this point in the sauce making process, round up those freshly roasted chopped chestnuts and drop them in. That was one cup or 135 grams. Deglaze the pan with white wine, a third of a cup or 83 milliliters. Your burner, it should be over medium to high heat. Use that spatula to scrape the bottom of the pan. Once the white wine is reduced and it's all gone, add five tablespoons or 40 grams of all-purpose flour. Now everything is starting to come together for this chestnut and mushroom filling for lasagna. Mix that flour in well and cook it for about two to three minutes. So you've added the majority of your solid items. Now it's time to work on those liquid ones. Two cups of chicken broth, that's about 500 milliliters. Pour it in and mix it well in with all of the rest of the ingredients. At this point in the sauce making process, you might want to turn up your burner to about medium to medium high heat, and then you can add two cups or 500 milliliters of heavy cream. A lot of great recipes for lasagna out there call for a bechamel, and this white lasagna recipe with chestnuts and mushroom is no different. Add a dash or two of nutmeg, Spank on some pepper. So instead of creating a savory sauce and a separate bechamel, you're creating one big sauce that has both great flavors. Bring this savory chestnut and mushroom topping sauce to a simmer. Slowly cook it over medium heat for about eight to 10 minutes. And while that cooks, you can start working on your pasta. To a large boiling pot of water, add a generous amount of salt. Then you can add 12 sheets of lasagna pasta. Don't cook the pasta all the way through. The instructions on the box that I have say to cook it for about 10 to 12 minutes, so I'm only gonna cook it for about eight. Once it's done, strain it and put it into a cool bowl of water. By the time the pasta's done, your lasagna sauce with chestnuts and mushrooms should be thick. You can do the smile test. If the smile stays, then you're good to go. And you know I'm just throwing this out there for an option. If you wanted to toast your chestnuts over an open fire and use wild mushrooms, it would take this recipe up to the next level. Give the sauce a taste, adjust the seasoning if necessary, add a dash of salt, spank on some pepper if needed. Now that you have the sauce's taste where you want it to be, it's time to add the last ingredient, the spinach, to make this a healthy lasagna sauce, right? Turn off the heat, the residual heat of the sauce itself should help wilt that spinach, but once it's mixed in and nice and soft, you can move on to the next step. So now it's time for me to show you how to put this lasagna together. Add a few scoops of that white creamy chestnut and mushroom sauce to the bottom of a nine by 13 baking dish. It doesn't have to be too much, just enough to cover the bottom layer of the dish. On top of that, you'll add a layer of the pasta, and you know, because you're making this from scratch, if you wanted to use homemade pasta, why not knock yourself out? Cover the top of the pasta with some more sauce and then sprinkle on some shredded mozzarella. In total, you'll need about two cups or 227 grams. Next, you'll add a touch of Parmesan cheese. After that, just repeat the process again. Throw down another layer of pasta, then add some more sauce, then more mozzarella, parmesan, and in total, you'll have four layers of pasta along with the chestnut, mushroom, lasagna sauce, and cheese. Kick back and enjoy the show as I throw it all together. And I bet one thing that you're wondering is how many scoops of sauce did you put on the pasta? I put three on every single layer and it turned out to be the perfect amount for this recipe. After you load the top of the lasagna up with some cheese, add some sliced mushrooms. They don't have to be cooked. Just chop them up, throw them on. Last item up to bat, cover it with aluminum foil. Preheat your oven at 350 degrees Fahrenheit or 176 Celsius. Bake it in the oven for 40 minutes covered and then remove the aluminum foil and cook for an additional 10 minutes. If you like the top to have an extra golden brown touch, Broil it for one to two minutes or until it's golden brown on top. So check it out, nothing says the holidays like a delicious hearty lasagna, especially one made with some original ingredients with the chestnuts, the mushrooms, red peppers. With that spinach, it's bursting with color and flavor. The final step of this lasagna making process is gonna be the hardest step of them all. You're gonna have to let it sit and rest for about 20 to 30 minutes so it sets and cools off, and then you can dive in and enjoy. Why not make this holiday season extra special by surprising your loved ones with a homemade chestnut and mushroom lasagna. It's so original, it'll be a treat and tasty delight for all. Well, thanks for watching everybody. I hope that you enjoyed this recipe on how to make a chestnut and mushroom lasagna. I hope that you and all of your loved ones have a happy holiday season and have a chance to give this lasagna a shot. You've gotta try this, woo, that's good. Thanks again for watching, and remember, it's just you, me, 
and the sauces. Keep whisking, y'all.